What's good y'all? Hope y'all having a good day. Today, we actually get some Mexico action. It's crazy. I've had this channel for about a year now. Made videos probably past, what, 10-ish months? And today's the first Mexico day. Actually, with this car, not anyone else's. The Stang's getting some action today. I'm gonna get cooked, but we're getting some action. So, going over to the homie's house to actually wash the car first, and then we're gonna go get some runs. Now that the car is actually running at 100% capacity, I'm going to be running it on the Brent Speed tune, uh, not the Lido since Lido is a base tune. Um, I'm going to finish data logging with Lido sometime this week now that everything's sorted out. Um, so yeah, running it on the Brent Speed tune. So we got BBK shorty headers, off-road H-pipe, pipe, pipe bomb axle back, JLT intake, and the uh, Brent Speed tune. So that's what we're running the, the setup today. So I'm probably only making 290, maybe 300-ish wheel in that ballpark. Um, running it against the N54 BMW on a... I believe it's tuned by Solo Motorsports, so I don't know what actual map he's on right now, but he's a VRSF, Catalyst Downpipe, Intakes, they're tuned, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, control arms, but that's nothing crazy. Um, so he's probably making 380, 400 horsepower right now, so significantly a lot more than me, so I'm expecting to lose going into this, but you know, just a little fun. And another reason why, in the last video I was talking about the N54 was a consideration because of how cheap they are to make uh, a lot of power. But heading over to his house now, uh, washing the cars first, and then we're gonna hit some runs. Hey, I heard we're going to Mexico. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like the fucking... Oh, bro, get this shit soapy. <laughs> oh, my boy. <laughs> Get this shit bubbly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we just had some fun with the foam cannon. Never used it before. Cars, super soapy. We're about to spray them down, uh, clean the wheels, and then I think it's Mexico time. <clears throat> you know we got to make the rear end the cleanest for these taillights you about to see, my boy. <laughs> I said, you know, we got to make the rear end the cleanest. So, you, you know, when you see these taillights, you know what you're looking at. <laughs> All right, we driving over to Mexico now. Uh, super cold. So temps are good. Intake air temps are at 52 degrees right now. Uh, coolant, all that's looking really good. Uh, so just filled up, heading to Mexico now. Um, I'm going to get totally smoked, <laughs> but you know what? We chilling. We're here for some fun. And, you know, once I'm boosted, we're definitely going to run it back with this boy. Um, but, yeah, we're driving over to Mexico now. So once we uh, find a spot to hit some runs, uh, that's when I'm going to pick the camera back up and uh, record those. Those runs weren't even close. I know I sucked at recording, um, but yeah, so we did two digs, a 20 roll, a 40 roll, and I think a 60 roll. Um, two of the files corrupted, so two of the runs aren't actually in there, but the run, the, the end result was all the same for all of them. He won every single one of them. The dig was probably the closest one. Um, I basically had him up until like third gear. Um, once his turbo spooled up and all that, then he pulled on me. Um, 20 roll was a little closer. I had him uh, low end, and then once his 
like I said, servo spooled up. He was, it was not even close. Um, 40 and 60, not, wasn't even worth the shot. <laughs> was not worth it. Um, we basically didn't want to push our luck, keep, keep doing more runs, because we got like six or seven runs in. Um, so we didn't want to push our luck um, because both one, one in 54 life, you never know when something's going to go wrong. And two, I have high mileage on this car, so I didn't want to push it too much. Um, she held up perfectly, so I'm I'm super happy with that. Uh, BMW held up nice too, so both our cars held up for um, for pushing them pretty hard. Um, so I'm I'm confident when we boost this car that um, I won't have that many issues, if any at all. Um, so yeah, so next video i'm going to get the seats so that's the next priority is fixing the interior honestly uh, i haven't really done too much to it so we're gonna get the new seats installed um then maybe do a little uh dyna performance carbon overlays mm, who knows um next so yeah i uh, appreciate y'all tuning in also i want to correct myself on the horsepower i don't think i'm pushing to 290 ish it's like i mean like I, I want to put the car on the dyno, but like, I don't really see a point in putting an, an A3 valve on the dyno. I was just rough estimating like what I think I'm at, but I'm probably nowhere near that after hitting those runs. So who knows what I'm at. Um, if someone's dynoed their car with a similar setup, um, you know, maybe you just let me know what you're at. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for today's video. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, Definitely gonna get some more Mexico runs in eventually. Um, I'm either gonna hit some more while the car's in A and then run some cars again once I'm boosted or just wait till I'm boosted, but we'll see. So appreciate y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in my next video.